you guys give us some great advice, but you know what? The best advice that we're able to pass along is advice that we get from our graduates. Um, we have a, a wide variety of cast of characters up here. All of them have been absolutely wonderful to work with. I'm very proud of all of them. Internships are very vital to just sit and watch. There's, not, there's no easier thing to do than be quiet and sit. Actually, that's pretty hard sometimes. Yeah, it is. But that's, there's, it's the best way to learn. Just sit and observe because sooner or later, very soon, probably most, for most of you, that it's going to be you in that seat. And you'll be like, oh, this guy I interned for did it. And I learned from there. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to make sure when he messed up, I'm not going to mess up or something like that. Because professionals every day, they're not perfect. And everyone's working hard. We're all human and make mistakes. So it's good to see professionals make mistakes and make you realize who you are. You're not, you know, we're all in this together. Sometimes you have to humble yourself because if you, I want to be at the top so bad, but sometimes you have to be back there behind the camera. I had to do a little, you know, cut, write scripts, talk to guests. I had to send off envelopes. I had to go out. It was really cold outside. And I had to go outside and get like information for her daily. I'm just like, but it, everything was a humbling experience. Then when I graduated from here, I didn't have a job, period. So I remember talking to Don, and he showed me about the gorilla. And what really got the job was the cover letter. My cover letter, I sold myself in the middle paragraph. And that's when I started working for the AC Green Show. It was kind of far out of my league. And all of a sudden, I went to the, back, the Black Women's Expo. And I remember. Um, talking to someone from iHeartRadio, Darcy Redman. And she was not looking for anybody, but I was gonna make her come get me. <laughs> I'm like, hi, sold myself, I had my card ready, everything. And I'm like, call me. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call you. And I kept calling. I really didn't care about getting on their nerves because I wanted a position. I actually started with promoting for a band and that led to, I guess, me really building my character. Because, I mean, if you're going to work out and try to lure people to come out to a show, you're going to want to hype it up. So it totally feeds into my on-air radio personality. You know, that's actually what I do now. I work at WLKG Lake 96.1, and I'm on-air production, and I also produce. And you, like they said, you don't get it right away. I started off as their weekend girl. Literally, I was... I was still working in Chicago, and then on the weekends, I'd go, I'd take the Metra to go to Lake Geneva, which was an hour and a half away once I got the job, you know, there. But I will definitely say um, intern anywhere you can. But, like, I do, I do love that, you know, you, sit, you said that you stayed true to what you did because you know as a person what you need and what would better, you know, feed into what you want to do. Internships are key to employment and just, you know, better opportunities out there. Um, I was in political, I've always been into politics since I've been in high school, working for presidential campaigns and um, sorts of things like that. So, you know, I always knew I wanted to do political talk radio. So um, I think within like my second or third month here, I decided, well, you know, because I moved here from Greenwood, South Carolina. So there's not that many opportunities out in South Carolina to do political talk radio or the kind of political talk radio that I wanted to do. So uh, I packed up my stuff, I moved here, and then I attended uh, Illinois Media School, and I said, you know, I'm here, you know, I want to do political talk radio, so I applied for an internship at WGN Radio, and uh, I didn't hear anything back from them for like uh, maybe another two months, and then they decided to email me back and offered me an internship there. The opportunities are there, you just have to grab them, and like they said, you know, it's not going to be easy at first because I had two jobs that was, you know, outside of WGN Radio. And plus, I had another internship at WVON um, AM as well. So, you know, the struggle's real. It's just, you know, if you want it, it's there. You just have to grab it. And um, you're going to have all the resources here for you to do that because once you go out and you apply for those jobs at WVON or WGN Radio and you tell them, well, hey, I know how to do Adobe Audition because that's what, that's what they run on, Adobe Audition. All their systems are Adobe Audition. Everything you learn here is going to be applied to those jobs, I promise you. They're going to be here to help you. Just make sure you reach out to them and, you know, it's yours. You just got to grab it and take it. Well, I've just put myself out there everywhere and I have a nine to five. I'm in healthcare. So I would say, do it, do it, don't limit yourself, and just keep moving. I never said no. I never even said yes. I said, is, what can I do to help you? You know, what do I need to do? Because I didn't know any of this stuff. I was going into this whole world kind of like, you know, out of the blue. 
So um, eventually, they started to, uh, we're starting to grow at this new location as of February. And um, she said that she wanted me to be the internship coordinator. And to me, that was crazy because I didn't think that I could be an internship coordinator. Um, I guess I was the most qualified because I was an intern. My entire time here, I was living in Michigan City, Indiana. Now, that's about a, an hour and a half train ride away. Um, once I started here, I got my internship probably about a month and a half afterwards. I was uh, working for um, Campus Insiders. Um, it's a video on demand sports app that's run out of the old Harpo Studios. So I was coming in, I had to be there three days a week at nine in the morning. Now, I would only come in on days that I had school just to make it easier on my schedule. But at that same time, I was also working my regular job, which was at a casino in southwest Michigan. Now, I guess the point I'm trying to make is you just have to be dedicated. 